Have you ever looked at storms carefully? Notice that they spin? If you've seen our can crushing video, you know that air wants to move from high to low pressure. Storms are areas of low pressure, but you can see from the clouds that the air doesn't flow straight in. It spins around the storm. You may have heard that this is because the Earth is spinning, and that's absolutely right. To understand how the Earth's spin affects the storm's spin, we have to think about different points of view. Imagine you're in the back seat of a car driving on the highway. You look out the window and notice a friend of yours in another car. At first, both cars are going at the same speed, about 55 miles an hour. Then you notice the other car starts to pull ahead of you. But are they really speeding up or are you slowing down? Without checking your speedometer, it can be hard to tell. Now imagine you're on a merry-go-round and your friends are playing catch over the merry-go-round. It looks like the ball is moving straight from one person to the other. No crazy spins or anything. But what happens if another friend starts to spin the merry-go-round? The ball is supposed to be moving in a straight line, but to you, it looks like the ball is curving. How can this be? Let's compare your view with that of your friends. To you, the world outside the merry-go-round looks like it's spinning, but to your friends, the world appears still. It is the Coriolis effect that causes the ball to move in a curved path relative to the merry-go-round, just like the winds curve around a storm. But wait, you might remember that the Earth is also spinning. Why doesn't the Coriolis effect influence the game of baseball? It's because the ball is into the air very long compared to the time it takes the Earth to rotate once. When two people throw a baseball, it doesn't take very long to go from one person to another, much less time than it takes for the Earth to complete a rotation. We can test this with a turntable and two marbles. Imagine that this turntable is the Earth and we're looking down on it, with the North Pole in the center. If we roll one marble fast and the other slow, the Coriolis effect has had more time to act on the slow marble because the slow marble is on the table longer. So, knowing what you know now about the Coriolis effect, do you think that it has an effect on the water in your toilet or sink?